and so yep. one of my colleagues at the Verge had a story this week where it's a new initiative to get robots to do the swabbing, and it's it's kind of fascinating and horrifying at the same time because you know it's kind of a standard robot. It's not like a sexy Cylon robot or like a replicant or anything good like that. It's just kind of a, a robot with a really scary looking swab. And actually, the photos of if you look at the article, the photos are. Like there's one diagram that shows how far up the swab was. I don't need to keep harping on that, but it's amazing to me, like how deep it has to go. So I was sort of curious, like, would people be on board with letting a robot swab them for coronavirus? Because I mean, obviously it has its upsides, right? Like you don't have to get another person involved. You're lowering the risk of infection. You know, it's maybe a little bit more efficient. But like if that robot slips or like, you know, something happens and it decides it becomes self-aware at that exact moment when it's <laughs> oh, probing your brain. Like, that's not ideal. So I did a little Twitter poll and I said, hey, would you let a robot, you know, swab you for coronavirus? And my options for the poll were you could have Six, the sexy blonde Cylon. You could have Rachel, the replicant. You could have Arnold, the Terminator, or just get the F out of here with that. I don't want any robots near my... And most people said, no, thank you. I do not want a robot following me. But the second place winner was Arnold Schwarzenegger Terminator. Like to me, I would rather have an attractive <laughs> robot. If I'm going to sit through this and it's going to potentially give me brain damage if it screws up, wouldn't I rather have, you know, an attractive Cylon or someone to, at least I felt good about them being the last space I ever saw. I don't know if I'd want Terminator. But it's very cool. It's a very cool concept. It's just kind of like the real world implications are a little bit. It'll, it'll freak you out. Read the story, though. It's a really good story. Explain the stuff. 